I don't know. I who was I watching? It was I think I was watching like a Moodamar, but it was on like a podcast. I forget what podcast. Uh huh. And he's talking about what, what the he fuck? He was talking about that. What, what, what are you, are you doing? doing? Why can't I, can I hear myself? myself? I'm not doing anything. I can, I can hear, hear myself. myself. I, I literally am just sitting here. I, I have it's not done something, anything. Different. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'll, you might have like accidentally put out their mic or something. I don't know. I didn't do anything. I literally sitting here putting shit in a chest. I've been doing the exact same thing. Okay. Anyway, continue. Mudahar. Um, completionist. Yeah, it was it was him and I think it was you were talking about how him and Coffee Zilla came across the story. And he was trying to get is, but okay. <sighs> Coffeezilla is like a lawyer YouTube, but he mm -hmm. investigates like kind of other YouTubers and Twitch streamers. Uh that are doing like illegal shit. Oh, that's who we, that's how the conversation started. We we're talking about how the guy from All Gas No Breaks tried to touch kids. Uh continue. Oh, was it him? Yeah, he tried to touch kids. God, uh, that's sad. <laughs> I know. The Bigfoot video will still be, I think, my favorite. <laughs> that, that's how the conversation started. I, I don't I don't even remember how the fucking full conversation started. It was retarded shit. When he fucked that kid. Um. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Mudahar, Coffeezilla. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so he, he Coffeezilla hits him up and he goes, "What do you know about the completionist?" And then Mudahar is like, <laughs> "He's like a highly respected YouTuber." And he goes, "He's like, I know you're trying to go to bed, but what if I told you he's stolen like over a million dollars and can't and like cancer funds that he's never donated?" And then Mudahar is like, "Fuck!" And then he's up the entire night like researching <laughs> the fucking thing with him. <laughs> And then they sat, they literally went through all the documents, and then, then, uh, the they outed him. Like, that he didn't do any of the shit, oh, and they put the video I didn't video know they out. were the ones that outed him. Yeah, they, no, they were. I thought it was fans that did it. No, no, it was those two. Oh. And then, and then, uh, he, he lawyered up, and then for whatever reason, Mudahar was like, listen, if you want, you can defend yourself, like, right now. Mm-hmm. So he joined a he joined a fucking Discord call with him, with him and Coffeezilla. Uh huh. And the fucking two the three the three of them were just like <sighs> they were grilling the completionist over like why he stole the money. Mm -hmm. And he's like he he cannot give a fucking excuse. And then like afterwards, Mudahar is like I don't know why he joined that call without a fucking lawyer telling him no. <laughs> he's like what a fucking retard. <laughs> Because <laughs> he admitted to stealing the money in the fucking it, like in the call. Yeah. And he's like, I don't. I, he's like, I didn't have to donate it. <laughs> and Mudar's like, Yes, you do. It's fucking donations. You're doing for this. You donate the money that you get. And he's like, No. And then he's like, Afterwards, the his lawyer tried to get them to take down the stream, and he's like, No. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, so he's getting sued by a bunch of people because of it. Yeah, he can go to jail for that shit, right? Yep. What a fucking dumbass. It's funny as shit. It's funny. I wonder if that's why his uh, co-host left. Oh. He used to have a co-host. Mm, probably. Because they never fully revealed why he left. Yeah, look up CoffeeZilla when you when you want. He's getting sued by fucking Logan Paul right now. It's pretty funny. Oh. Because he, he did a whole video on how Prime doesn't actually do anything. It's just a more mm -hmm. sugary Gatorade. Mm-hmm. And Logan Paul took that as defamation for whatever reason and is suing him for it. And CoffeeZilla's like, he's going to fucking lose. <laughs> <laughs> and every single, like, other... You someone for that. Yeah, yeah no, he, he's suing him for defamation. And... He's like, yeah, he's gonna lose this fucking case. <laughs> and Coffee's always like, I don't give a fuck. Did he go after a sniper wolf during the whole whatchamacallit? I don't Which know if it was him. The one dude. She, she just fucked herself. Well, no, YouTube covered for her for that shit, which was the insane part. Yeah, I think that was more what his video was about. Mm -hmm. I also don't know if that was him. 
There, there, there's like a dozen fucking like lawyer dudes you can watch. Yeah. Coffeezilla is, I think, the best of them though, because he does like actual like investigative journalism. Mm -hmm. He doesn't just make shit up. Well, no, he, he a lot of them just like legal, legal, oh, just Max does like okay I've lawyer, heard of him. lawyer, hot, hot takes. Where he's like, Didn't this if they if they're going after this person, this is what they need. This, 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 and this. Mm -hmm. Coffeezilla, on the other hand, makes an entire. Uh, case against the person and then releases it and then, then it turns into a shit show mm -hmm. did that one youtuber that you would be used to watch to get in trouble recently which i think the right opinion is his name i know the name i don't know though i don't know one of my favorite one of my <laughs> So I used to watch this one YouTuber that would like review books and give like advice. And then she did an episode where she uh where she um reviewed started reviewing One Piece, okay? And now her entire channel is just the anime channel. Is it like a brunette chick with glasses? Yeah. I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, all she does now is review anime. And I think it's funny. Hey man, it's it's more enjoyable money. than comes out in uh, yeah. America, so, so fuck it. Oh, I realized something today, and I mentioned it to Michael. So all the uh, ancient weapons are named after oh, planets, right? Uh, yeah, they are, and so are the, uh... Garose. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so maybe the Garose are ancient weapons. Who knows? Hmm. Well, Tet... I mean, possibly. I mean... Because Orihime is... is a, yeah. yeah. It's only seven planets, right? Uh, well, aren't two of them say, not named after name. planets? Because I know it's Saturn is one, Venus is the bird, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's the Chinese zoo and then the, the one that everybody thought was... The one that Sanji's everybody thought dad. was Sanji's dad was, uh... It's Saint Jean something? Yeah. And I forget what the Chinese I know one of them is Mars. That might be the Chinese, dude. I don't think the boar is one of the planets. That's Saturn. No, Saturn is the spider. The spider. You're right, you're right, you're right. I got them mixed up. I don't know how. <laughs> I Listen, it's been a hot minute since he's shown up as a spider. Mm -hmm. Too much has been going on, all right? Yeah. Back when everyone thought he was going to be the main antagonist of the arc. Back when everyone thought Luchi was going to be the main antagonist of that arc. Well, I thought I think everybody didn't think it was going to be Luchi. It was going to be um, uh, the one admiral whose name I'm blanking on right now. Oh, Kizaru. Yeah. Do you think the other? Do, do you think any of the Vega Punks are actually going to make it out? I think the cute girl one is because she's cute. Lilith and the one that looks like a big little kid. I think both of them will make it out. It, there, it's those two and then the evil one. Yeah. And then some people still think Edison's alive. Because they don't show him die and someone turned off the one thing. And no one knows who it is. If he's not dead yet, he'll probably be dead. Yeah, he was fucked up. I don't know, maybe that's how they introduce, like, a uh, Frankie Love Interest's female Vegapunk. F female oh. Vegapunk robot. I mean, before Bonnie got all this, I really thought the one that's still alive was going to join. The one that's Lilith? Yeah. I, I didn't think any of the Vegapunks would Have join. Well, because my thing is, what the fuck are they going to do with them when they all leave? Like, 
I don't think you could just leave them on an island. I feel like Dragon would take them, or Probably. they join the the fucking um. The hell is the name of it? The uh, the organization that it's Mads. That's one. Mads is king. No, it's Caesar and Sanji's dad. Oh yeah, I thought they didn't want Vegapunk because they all hated Vegapunk. Yeah, but Vegapunk's dead. It's one of his robots. Yeah, true. So it's technically not Vegapunk. Fuck. I don't know. My my guess is the the Gorus they just might be so angry at the end of it they just kill the evil one. Yeah, that's my guess. You're fucking retard and just fucking like cleaver in half. I think at least one of the Gorosei is going to get taken down in this arc. I don't think it's Saturn. I don't think they'll be down down. <clears throat> I I think it's we're here to see their strength and then the next time they fight. Mm. Like the you know the straw hats and whoever else is there. Yeah. Could actually fight them better. I mean cuz a lot of people really think the robots going to drag one into the ocean. Yeah, because Sanji, I mean, Jimbei and Zoro are fighting the horse. Uh, mo I had the feeling it's going to be mostly Jimbei fighting the horse. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what he said that confused me. One moment Saturn was trying to kill Robin, and then he just, like, he's on the other side of the island. Well, I, I, that's, like, the weird thing that they can teleport, you know? Yeah. Saturn, for whatever reason, went on a fucking boat ride the entire way there. He could have just fucking teleported and killed all of them in two seconds and then mm -hmm. fucked off. Uh, I still think Kaku's gonna die. <laughs> I don't see Kaku dying. Well, it's just because he's, like, broken and then he's just like, leave me, Stussy, just do it. And then there was the whole thing where Lucci is like, to the one, he was like, please save my friends. Well, he said, leave, leave Kaku alive. He didn't say leave, like, save stuff. Yeah. He said. So either A, Lucci's going to save her. Mm hmm Which would be a little bit out of character, but at the same time, like. Well, that's why other, like, I don't think Kizaru is going to betray them at this point. We just haven't seen him. He just might lay there for the rest of the fucking fight. Yeah. He was just, I'm done. There was, um, I saw a theory where they thought, uh, Kizaru might fucking defect from the, the Navy, too. A lot of people think that. But, <clears throat> the, well, the million dollar question is where would he go? I don't think he'd be a pirate. I saw it as he does it and he dies. They, I saw ones where he he ditches them and he joins the fucking revolutionaries. Yeah, I could see that. I don't necessarily know if Dragon would take him, but I kind of feel like at this point it's it, the point is past where he could you know mm -hmm. really disobey. <laughs> The, like, I saw it as it would be, like, a self-sacrifice, where it's like, they need to get away, and he wants Bonnie to live, so he's just like, alright, I gotta do this. I, I could see him, like, shooting, like, one or two of the Gorosei, like, at the mm -hmm. end, if, like, need be. I don't really see him dying, though, because I feel like he could he could just fuck off and disappear. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, that's what, my thing where he's, like, fucked up already. What if he's the 10th crew member? <laughs> That'd be wild. I feel like he would be mad. It'd be fucking something. It'd be something. No, I mean, more than likely it's gonna be the, um... Bonnie. Yeah. And then technically, if you, like, look at, like, the translation and shit, Luffy's like, I want 10 crew members. So, yeah. theoretically, Luffy doesn't count. He doesn't. So there's technically space for one. Well, everybody counts him as one of them. Oh, no, Bonnie would be the 10th. Including Could... Luffy? 
No, including Luffy, she'd be the 11th. Zoro, Nami, Sanji, Usopp, Frankie, Robin, Robin Chopper, Chopper Jimbe. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's nine. And then there's the theory that he's going to get 13. Well, I, I feel like VV is a, a still a straw hat. Like, Yeah, I think if we're getting 12, it's like VV Yamato. I don't think it's going to be a brand new character. Well, VV was always a straw hat, and at this point, yeah. she's back in the fucking story. It makes sense that it would be her, you know? Yeah. My thing is just, like, they need fighters for the final war. I don't know if you necessarily just need all fighters. Yamato would be like, a good pick. Defin Bonnie, with her weird fucking devil fruit, is probably... Yeah. Once she went Nika, I was like, there's no way she's not joining. Well, did you see, like, all the weird fucking theories about, like, her devil fruit and shit? No. So people are like, either A, distorted future is her awakening. Mm-hmm. Or, B, it's like a power of her devil fruit... But her awakening is she can use distorted future on anybody. Mm -hmm. So theoretically, if that's the case, that's right. any of the straw hats can become Nika later on. Yeah. Well, that was another thing too. Like, he definitely changed her fruit. Like, he retconned that shit. I don't care what anyone says. I, I don't think he retconned it. He just added to it. When I tell Grimsby about. Because the only the only difference with her devil fruit is that uh, she has distorted future now. But what? But then it doesn't make sense how she can turn people into kids. Because the way Saturn explains it is, if it's something she knows can't happen, that's she can't distorted do future. It. That's distorted future. Yeah. So the, the oh, way this. Okay, I'm retarded. I'm retarded. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's not I'm that's retarded. not the regular devil fruit. The regular devil fruit is age. Yes. And then the sort of future is the awakening. Okay. Possibly. That's that's Possibly. everybody's like either A it's the awakening of the devil fruit. Mm -hmm. And if it's not and it's just like a weird su like subsect of the power, mm -hmm. it makes more sense that it would be the awakening. Yeah. Well, I know a lot of people think we're going to see Awakenings for, like, every Devil Fruit, which I don't believe. I don't think we'll get it for every Devil Fruit. Because there's people that think Logias don't have one. I think... I, I think this is, like, a fairly well-known theory. But mm -hmm. during, like, the final fight, I have the feeling Sakazuki, or Akinu, will get knocked into the ocean. Mm-hmm. And everybody like, okay, he's done, goodbye. And then, like, other people start fighting, and then, like, he'll just erupt out of the ocean and turn into, like, a fucking volcano, and then come back. Yeah. I'm back for round two, motherfucker! Well, there's also a theory where, like, Sakazuki... So so blah, blah, blah. The theory... People think Sakazuki is gonna fight Green Bull. Why would and he then fight Green Bull? He's, uh, he just doesn't like him. It, it's I don't a whole thing. see that because yeah. he Green Bull like looks up to him. Mm -hmm. Well, it's more so, people <clears> think it's going to be like accidental because they're it's just going to be all out chaos, My and it's going to be you know Green Bull's plants. Uh, Sakazuki is lava. One of those <laughs> things kills the other. I don't, My guess is the Marines are going to splinter off from the world government itself. Yeah. Because there's also people that, like, I still kind of believe the theory that Sakazuki's going to be like, the what the world government now isn't proper justice. Yes, agreed. And he'll, t he'll take a swing at someone. I don't know if he'll swing at somebody. I, well, if he swings, theoretically, it would be, uh... Probably emo. The, well, the, the swing would be uh, him just breaking off, like, the Navy entirely. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like... Yeah, they they want to fucking flood the world. That includes like killing all of us and our families. Uh, fuck that. Yeah. A lot of people also think the one chick that's with Kobe is his daughter. Mhm. Mm I can see it. Yeah. 
Akino fucking hates Kobe. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking bend my daughter! Because I... If I had to guess character endings, Smoker is going to become the uh, head admiral at the end. The fleet admiral. Mm -hmm. I still think Kobe's going to be the one to execute Luffy. I don't think it'll be Smoker. I know you think it's Smoker. I... No, I also don't know if Luffy will get executed at the end. I, I think, I think the final... Like I think the final panel we'll get is Luffy putting the straw hat on another kid. Mm-hmm. I, so I don't think it'll be him dying. <laughs> well, go into the whole, go into the whole uh, theory of Buggy becoming the next king of pirates. They go to decapitate Buggy, and he starts the next generation of pirates. But he doesn't fucking die. It'd be funny. It would be pretty funny. I don't know. It it all depends on how I'm just living the how the entire story ends. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I the thing is like everybody's like the one piece made Roger laugh and I'm like, maybe it's Joy Boy's plan to destroy the red line. I don't know. That doesn't really seem like it would make me laugh. Mm -hmm. I hope the guy is just like a fucking knock knock joke. That would be so fucking <laughs> funny. Why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? Everybody's just fucking everybody's dying laughing. It's just like a picture of Emu with his dick out. It's a picture of dick butt. That's all it is. <laughs> it's just dick butt, just sitting there. Did you know? Book yeah, like that's the thing where it's like, because what was the whole quote? It's too soon or something like that. Oh, when? When that shows Roger finding it. That I think that's because Roger was dying. Hmm. He like he couldn't physically do it. That's why he's like, I was too fucking soon, so I can't see yeah. it. Yeah. This valley is just too adorable. So unless I don't know, like I don't think a weapon would make him laugh. I don't know. I don't I, know. I think at the end, reverse mountain in the fucking. Watch him call it. I'll get. I, I think it ends with the blue. red line being destroyed and reverse mountain being destroyed. The water level's lower yeah. because it's gone. So then there's like significantly more land. Mm -hmm. One was like a thousand feet in the fucking air. Then. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I do think I... I have a theory of what Emu's Devil Fruit is. Uh, if all of them are Yokai, I think hers is gonna be, like, the Ghost Whale. And it'll be broken because she can actually swim. I was seeing people say it's gonna be a fucking, like, cartoon devil. Mm-hmm. Because... <clears throat> Gear 5th is, like, old-style fucking cartoons. Mm -hmm. Like Tom and Jerry and shit. And then it's like... What was the antithesis of those fucking old cartoons? The devil. She's Walt Disney. And his hatred of the Jews. Uh, that's the other thing too, like I was trying to explain to Michael today how like, how much shit still needs to happen in One Piece 2 though. Like Luffy still needs to meet his dad, we still need to deal with Enu, Enaru on the moon. I, I, I don't know, I don't know. He could just come back down. Yeah. I mean he was in Wano. Uh huh fucking was it was the one bald retard with his big ears that's all it was yeah he, uh, Oda just purposely drew him to look like Eno yeah no he just had long ears so you just saw long ears and thought it was him no it looks just like Eno <laughs> just long ears you also thought the moon got blown up so I don't want to hear it <laughs> no Michael also thought that 
Yeah, because you looked at a fucking fake panel full of, like, no, clip I ex art. That's not what happened. I explained... <clears throat> I was like, Michael, do you remember when we were reading Wano? And when all the, uh... Yes, because some Kaido. asshole uploaded a fake fucking panel. No, I swear to God, when I read that I chapter, saw it, too! I saw the fucking panel! It's fucking fake as shit! Okay. <laughs> I swear to God, kind of blew up the moon. <laughs> you can look at it, it's a fake fucking panel. I saw the I panel, know. but it's fake. It's like the fucking hunting ghost, okay? I know. It's not, no, it's not even the hunting ghost. It's not like <laughs> it, it's some re, some fucking American retard thought it'd be funny to fuck with people, and he did that. <laughs> and you know what? He was right, it is kind of funny, because you fucking believe it. Yeah, because then, like, the next chapter is when that silhouette of the dude that looks like Enero shows up. <laughs> This motherfucker blew up my house! <laughs> Him showing up in Wano and trying to throw hands with Kaido would have been funny. He probably would have did fairly well against Kaido. <laughs> what? I mean, Kaido could hit him, but I mean, his lightning would probably fuck him up a little bit. Luffy's there. Luffy would have just I mean... fucking <laughs> been there. That, that's one of those things where people argue is, like, how strong was Enel actually if he didn't fight Luffy? He obliterated people, every single person he came across. Well, that's the thing. Some people think he's, like, Admiral level. I don't know. It depends on how he would fight with, like, hockey and shit. Well, because he also had observation hockey. Yeah, it just wasn't that good. Yeah. Well, he didn't know it was hockey, either. Well, he's the first one that brings up hockey in the series. And then... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's been training... He's been doing, like, Dragon Ball Z training. He's been training in gravity, so... He could is, that, be is, he doing, is he doing fucking Dragon Ball Z training, or is he just on the moon? <laughs> he's those doing Dragon Ball Z like, Hello? <laughs> he said all of his little robot dudes. Well, actually, yeah, that's another fucking thing. He has little robot dudes, and we just saw a fucking ancient robot on fucking Egghead. It don't mean shit. It don't mean shit. <laughs> no, he's coming back. He is coming back. I, I agree. Care. I agree he'll come back. I just don't know what he'll do. He shows up I, thought it, I thought the Straw Hats were going to go to the moon at the end of this arc. I'm not going to lie. When it first started. I know. I know. I agreed with you. And uh, now I guess we're going to Elbath. He could still shoot Egghead into the fucking moon. It'd be funny as fuck. Yeah. And then that's how they bring back Enru, because he's like, Who the sh fuck shot this dude's fucking brain at me? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you, who the fuck shot demons in a brain at me? What the fuck? <laughs> and he's like, And he's then he comes back himself. down because he's pissed. He's like, Who the fuck? Somebody shot demons? And a fucking brain at me, and everything's <laughs> fucked up, and now I'm bringing my robots down. <laughs> well, because that's... So, like... Orange still needs to come back. He's the only one that hasn't. I forget when... There, there's the <laughs> thing where they think really he's his... funny. <laughs> this is really fucking funny. This retard shot him. Demons and a brain at me. <laughs> I'm coming down to fuck shit up. Ugh, <laughs> oh, funny. <laughs> Play ball!